Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I showed you the new Sephora haul that I got and I've been getting a lot of requests for people to do like a very simple makeup look. They only have like 15, 20 minutes in the morning. So I'm gonna combine that with the stuff that I just got to show you that you can still do a really great face and it doesn't really have to take that long, okay? So first up, I'm gonna use my brand new Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Primer that I just got. Now I haven't used this yet, so I'm really interested to see how my makeup stays on today. Stay tuned for that. I love to put primer on with my fingers. I just love the way it goes on with your fingers. It's just like lotion, you know what I mean? Now, I will tell you, if you're gonna skip a step, don't skip a primer. Primer is so, so important. It's really gonna keep everything together. Okay, now, depending on how fast you're going, you could use a really nice powder. I know that, speaking of Huda Beauty, she just came out with a really nice Glow Wish Press Powder that you can just use as that as a foundation. There's also Studio Fix um, by MAC. They have a really great just pressed powder foundation that you could use today. I am going to be using my new Beauty Blender foundation that I got. Brand new, that was the box. <laughs> okay, so I need to find my Beauty Blender. I need to clean it, hold on. I just found another one. This is actually clean, it was white, it's just like dyed. Okay, so, ooh, I'm really interested in how this whole thing works. Like what is this on the back? That seems to lock it. That seems to unlock it. I don't really know what's happening with this, but we're gonna find out. I think you just squeeze this and it should dispense. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, now, I love a liquid foundation. You guys don't have to do this if you're looking for a simple look before you go to work or school, whatever, but I am going to do this with a beauty blender. You can also do it with a brush. That might be a lot easier for some people. But you don't want to rub too much. Again, you're patting it into your skin because when you rub, you actually end up taking off your makeup. Okay, so. That is my Beauty Blender foundation. I like it a lot, actually. It feels nice, it blended really nicely. It feels really good over my, um, matte foundation from Huda. All right, guys. Now, this is something that you probably don't want to skip, especially if you have, oh, what is this? Hmm. Especially if you have, um, like dark circles under your eyes. I feel like I, I can see, can you see it from the side? I have some type of a, there it was, a little hair. You really want to get in there. Um, you're probably really going to want to use a concealer, especially because a lot of people, if they work early, like I was morning shift for the longest time, I just feel like I perpetually have like dark circles under my eyes. So I, this is brand new that I got. It's by Marc Jacobs. It was on sale. That's why I got it. Hollow Sephora. It's called Extra Shot. It's Extra Shot of Caffeine. So not only is it actually going to conceal, but it gives under your eyes a little bit of a caffeine boost, which anytime I can get a caffeine boost is huge. If you don't think that you have bags under your eyes, guys, I just put, I'm always used to concealing. This you don't have to do. Um, if you don't want to do concealer, you don't think that you have bags, then by all means, don't use it. This is what I use. This is the beauty blender that I use usually for my powder but I'm gonna use it for my concealer too. 
All right, now look at the difference. It just looks so much better, right? This is why I love a concealer, but again, if you guys have a little bit of time or say you have no time at all, honestly, if you have good skin, skip the foundation, just do a concealer. I've also done that. I can show you. I can show you guys that look another time too. Okay. Bam, boom. You guys want something really simple? What I'm going to tell you is to just get a powder, set your whole face, including your eyes. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Press Powder and tap it in to my skin to set all of that, including under my eyes. Now, this is really simple for you guys. You don't have to bake, you don't have to do anything. If you have a good concealer and a good foundation, you'll be all set. Look how skin, look how smooth, excuse me, my skin looks already. <sighs> all right, and honestly, all I'm gonna do today, because you guys wanted a really easy look, is a little bit of mascara, which I'm gonna go in with first. I always do that, by the way. Always get a little bit on my cheek. I'm gonna go right in with a little bit of mascara, guys, just like I told you. I'm not even gonna do an eyeliner or an eyeshadow because you wanted something really, really simple. And honestly, if you have good lashes, maybe you don't have good lashes and you have to get lash extensions or anything, but then you really don't need eyeshadow. I use eyeshadow because I love it, but you can do a really simple look like this and you're still gonna look fantastic. Now, this is my favorite mascara. I rave about it in all my videos. It's the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. It's double-sided. I went in with the volume first. And then I'm gonna go in with the curl and the length. Look at that, woo! And when you don't have anything else on your eye, it really makes it pop. Like the lashes are the center. Now, if you'd like to fill in your eyebrows, you totally can. It's a preference. I personally always like to do mine. Oh, see, see that? See guys, I'm a mess. You can use your finger for that. You can use a Q-tip. Actually, I'm actually gonna go. Eh. Okay. Well, this is me. All right, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. So I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of my brows. So I'm gonna fluff them up a little bit. My eyebrows um, are pretty good. They're already micro shaded, but when I do makeup, I do like to give them a little bit of color. I'm just gonna fill in a little bit at the front and a little bit at the back to extend it. Now, look at the little teeny bit that I did, the difference. That took about two seconds. So, honestly, if you guys can find a brow pencil, it really might help. I just think eyebrows make the whole face. Come on, guys. We all love a good brow, right? All right, now I'm gonna do the other side. I usually start somewhere in the middle and the front, you don't wanna make it look too colored in. You wanna make it look fluffy. So I kind of stroke upwards. I'm gonna take it out just like I did the other one. Look at, see? And that's why you can just go back in, a little bit of this over, and then you're good to go. Oof, okay, how we doing? Perfect. Now, if you guys have a curling, um, a lash curler, you can curl your lashes if you want. I don't, I'm just gonna, well I do, but I don't know where it is. I'm gonna go back in and just hit it one more time with the curl and length side. See the difference? 
See now that it's dried a little bit? And a little bit on the bottom. You don't need to do a bottom lash, but I love a bottom lash. It fits my eyes better, personally. Okay, I'm gonna take my Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. Love, love, love this one. I'm not even gonna contour today, guys. We're not even focusing on contouring. This is almost like a mix of a blush. It has like two different tones, and I'm just gonna put it right here, just to bring up my face. See the difference? See how this just like brings your face up. It just looks more lifted. And you're going to do that on the other side. You're going to take a little bit of product, guys. This is what I'm doing. Product, patting it. Again, you want your fingers further down towards the end of the brush and just do circular motions. Oh my gosh, I wish I could show you how cute my cats are right now, guys. They're giving each other a bath. <laughs> And I'm just gonna go back in and blend that a little bit. Now, this is not a contour, guys. This is just easy peasy makeup. Boom, look at that. Really simple, right? If you'd like to go in with a little bit of more of a blush, you can. I'm gonna leave it like this just for my skin tone, but you totally, totally can do that. All right, you can also go in with a little bit of highlighter if you like. You don't have to. I'm going to because it's my favorite. You guys know I love a highlighter. A lot of you have asked also why I put highlighter on the tip of my nose. It's usually a trick for contouring to make your nose look slimmer, but I just like how it gives it that little glow. It's not like an oily shine. It's a glow. See that? Perfect. And Lastly, if you guys can see, I'm doing more of a um, a fall look today, so I'm going to go with a dark lip. I'm going to use Unveil by Fenty. I really love this color, and I haven't used it in a year because I really only use it in the fall. This liquid lip, I don't even use a pencil for. I really love the tip, if you guys can see. It's like really good to do the top. Now, that was one dip, and look at how much pigment I got. I'm gonna use the tip, just like that, to really carve out in the X shape my cupid's bow, and then bring it down. Now, you might not like a dark lip, that's totally fine. You can do a light lipstick, but look at how fast I just did my face. This is the really simple look, guys. It's gonna take maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes before you go to work. Um, practice it on the weekend, you know, do it before you go out when you have more time to make sure that that's actually all it takes you. But my skin looks really, really good. My lashes, Probably need a little bit more curl. That's okay. But this is my look. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my page. Thank you to everybody who already has. I love it. Let me know if you guys want to see more um, tips. I love that you guys are sending in requests. And it is spooky season, obviously, so I'm going to be doing some Halloween makeup tutorials too. All right. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys.